name is Faith, and today I want to show you how to access data from the 2020 Island Area Censuses, which include data for the American Samoa, the Commonwealth of Northern Mariana Islands, Guam, and the U.S. Virgin Islands. The 2020 Island Area Censuses provide a wide range of demographic, social, economic, and housing information to meet the island area data needs. Other surveys, such as the American Community Survey, are not conducted in the island areas. Therefore, the Census Bureau used a long-form census questionnaire similar to the ACS questionnaire used in the 50 states, the District of Columbia, and Puerto Rico. The data we are looking for today come from demographic profile tables, which are available for each of these island areas. The demographic profile tables include information on a variety of subjects, including age, race, Hispanic origin, health insurance coverage, household income, and housing data. There's a lot I want to show you with this data. So let's get started. For our first example, let's find all four demographic profiles for Pongo Pongo in the American Samoa. To start, let's go to data.census.gov and click on the advanced search button found beneath the search bar on the landing page. I always like to select the geography first, so from the lower left side of the screen, click on geography, place, American Samoa, click on the search bar right above the list, and enter Pongo Pongo. Check the box for Pongo Pongo Village, American Samoa. Now let's add the filter for the demographic profiles. From the lower left side of the screen, click on Surveys, Decennial Census of Island Areas. Check the box for the American Samoa demographic profile. With these selections made, click on the search button in the lower right corner of the screen. All four demographic profile tables will return. We have DP1, General Demographic Characteristics, DP2, Selected Social Characteristics, DP3, Selected Economic Characteristics, and DP4, Selected Housing Characteristics. For this example, let's click on DP1, Selected Demographic Characteristics. We can see that this table has a lot of different available data, including sex, age, race, and Hispanic origin. We can also see that it's using the 2020 American Samoa demographic profile, which is something of importance to note. We'll get into why in just a few moments. For now, let's take a quick look at some of the buttons found in the ribbon above the table. You can click on the Notes button in the ribbon to view important information relevant to this table, as well as find the link to the technical documentation. The link to the technical documentation is provided below. You can add additional geographies for the American Samoa using the Geos button. If you want to remove either of the columns from this table, you can use the Hide button. The Transpose button will transpose the table. If you hide the columns or transpose the table and decide that you don't want it formatted that way anymore, you can use the Restore button to revert the table back to its original format. Now let's say but I also want to look at these tables for Dededo Guam. Your first instinct may be to go over to the geography filter on the left to add Dededo to the table that way. However, you won't be able to successfully add any geographies from Guam, the Commonwealth of Northern Mariana Islands, or the U.S. Virgin Islands to this table as it stands. The reason for this is something that I alluded to earlier. Each of the island areas has its own unique demographic profile data set. We're currently using the 2020 American Samoa demographic profile, and what this means is that it's not compatible with geographies from any other island areas. In other words, the American Samoa demographic profile is only compatible with the American Samoa geographies. So if we want to find these tables for a place in Guam or any other geographies in Guam, or the other two island areas, we'll have to start a new search and use the demographic profile that's available for that specific island area. The easiest way to start a new search is to click on the U.S. Census Bureau logo in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. Let's use the advanced search again by clicking the button beneath the search bar. 
We'll repeat the process that we did earlier for the village of American Samoa. Let's do the geography first. From the lower left side of the screen, click on geography, place, Guam. Click in the search bar above the list and enter Dededo. Check the box for Dededo CDP Guam. Now let's add a filter for that demographic profile. For the lower left side of the screen, click on Surveys, Decennial Census of Island Areas. Check the box for the Guam demographic profile. With these selections made, click on the search button in the lower right corner of the screen. As before, all four demographic profile tables return. I wanna look at the map for the housing characteristics table, DP4. So I'm gonna go straight there. To get to the map, for this table, click on the Maps tab right above the table list, then click on the table DP4 to update the map with the data from that. We can see that this map, as well as the tables, use the 2020 Guam demographic profile. For this example, let's take a quick look at the mapping functionality that we have available. The map defaults to showing data for the first line of DP4 table which is the total number of housing units. If you would like to view a different variable from this table, click on the Variables button in the ribbon. Then click on the chevron next to Total Housing Units number. Using the list, you can search all the lines of the table until you find the variable that you want. Once you've done that, click the Variables button again to close the panel. Remember, you can always refer back to the tables by clicking on the Tables tab if you need more context for variables. If you want to find out more about what you can do with the mapping functionality available, please visit our tutorials that we have on our resources page found at the link below. I hope this tutorial has helped in learning how to find and use data from the Island Area Demographic Profiles. For more guidance on using our site, please visit our resource page at data.census.gov.